السلام عليكم our topic is engagement engagement means passage of the widest transverse diameter of the presenting part through the plane of the pelvic inlet the widest transverse diameter of the fetal head is the piparietal diameter which is 9.5 cm and it is the distance between both parietal eminences of the fetal head and it is the transverse engaging diameter of all cephalic presentations except in cases of asynclitism in which the transverse engaging diameter in asynclitism is subparietal suprabarietal diameter which is 9 centimeter asynclitism is the side tilt of the head so the sagittal suture is not in equal distance in the pelvis so it is tilted to one side more than the other so the piparietal diameter is the transverse engaging diameter of all cephalic presentation it is the transverse diameter of the vertex it is the transverse diameter of the face and brow however there is another engaging diameter which is the longitudinal diameter of the head which is affected by the attitude of the fetal head and this will be cleared later on the widest diameter transverse diameter of the breech is the bitrochanteric diameter which is 10 centimeter engaging head when it is engaged how it is engaged and why it is engaged when engagement occurs it occurs in the last three weeks of pregnancy in primary gravid and may be delayed up to the second stage of labor in the multiparous woman how can engagement occur its occurrence depends on interaction between three powers disorders of one or more of these factors or powers may cause non-engagement so the non-engagement is an effective interaction of this power these powers are the passages the bony pelvis pelvic floor muscles soft tissue obstruct uh, passages so we should have normal pony pelvis gynecoid pelvis normal not spastic pelvic floor muscles and soft tissue without tumors for engagement to okay fetal head size should be normal size and attitude different attitudes results in different longitudinal engaging diameter as we'll show later on and also fetal axis pressure which is called fetal recoil fetal recoil and third bar is abdominal muscle tone so the pendulous abdomen is a factor of non-engagement the mother should have a normal tone of her abdominal muscles engagement is essential this is why engagement to care engagement is essential because it is the beginning spark of the cascade of cardinal movement of labor which are which start with engagement followed by descent flexion increase the flexion internal rotation which is the cardinal the most important cardinal cardinal movement of 
labor, then extension of the head, external rotation, restitution, and expulsion of the head. And these are the mechanism of normal labor or carnal movement of labor. So, engagement is the starting or beginning spark in the cascade of carnal movements of labor. Without engagement, the labor is delayed and may not be completed. What are the engaging diameter? As we said before, the transverse engaging diameter of the head is the piperatal diameter, which is 9.5 centimeter. And it is the transverse engaging diameter of all cephalic presentation except in the asynclitic head, which is the transverse diameter, the engaging diameter is subparatal subparatal diameter. While in breach, this uh, uh, the engaging diameter is the bitrochanteric diameter as it is shown in the right hand picture. This table is to show the transverse and longitudinal diameters in the head, engaging diameter in the head. Each phallic presentation has its own longitudinal diameter according to the attitude of the feet. So, if the attitude is full flexion, the presentation is vertex or occiput, anterior, Transverse diameter is bilateral diameter, and the longitudinal engaging diameter is the sub occipital pragmatic diameter. So, which is 9.5 centimeters. So, the transverse diameter here is the bilateral, which is 9.5 centimeters, and the longitudinal is, the diameter is sub occipital pragmatic, which is 9.5 centimeters, and so. The head is like a pole, like a pole passing through the birth uh, canal. This pole has a diameter of 9.5 centimeter. When deflection, mild deflection occurs, the engaging diameter of the presentation is vertex. However, the position is occipital posterior and occipital posterior position. Some deflection occurs. However, the piperatal diameter is the transverse diameter in this situation, but the longitudinal diameter is suboccipital frontal, which is 10 cm. And when the deflection increases, the longitudinal engaged diameter increases by 1.5 cm and becomes occipital frontal diameter in measure deflection of the, uh, the occipital posterior position and this is a cause of delayed engagement and abnormal mechanism of labor in the occiput posterior position when the attitude is military attitude of prow presentation the uh, uh, longitudinal diameter engaging diameter is meant to vertical diameter which is 13 and a half or 14 centimeter, which is unleverable, unleverable, larger than any diameter of the pelvis. The largest diameter of the pelvis is the transverse diameter, which is 13 centimeter. And this engaging diameter, which is meant to vertical diameter of prow, full term prow, is 13.5 centimeter and is unleverable presentation. Still, the transverse engaging diameter of brow is the bipartial diameter. When the attitude is full extension in face presentation, the transverse diameter is bipartial diameter, and the uh, 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 longitudinal diameter is submentoprigmatic, submentoprigmatic, which is 9.5 and also the head is as a pole however the obstruction occurs in mental posterior position 
not due to the large size of the head, but due to the short neck, which is opposing the long sacrum. And so the fetus theoretically should be delivered by flexion, which is, is which is full extension, and this is impossible because the neck is five centimeters and sacrum is ten centimeters, and so men to posterior positions of say of the face are undeliverable presentations. So we should stress on the knowledge that the head have a common transverse engaged diameter which is a bilateral diameter and different longitudinal diameter which depends on the attitude of the head these are the diameters of the head the longitudinal diameter of the head suboccipital programmatic which is 9.5 cm flexed attitude suboccipital frontal 10 and a half cm partially deflexed occipital frontal 11.5 def major deflection mento vertical 13 cm in brow submento pragmatic 9 and a half cm in face as we mentioned before the shape of the head differs according to the longitudinal engaging diameter. In well flexed head, the head is uh, uh, like a pole with a diameter of, uh, uh, or sphere with a diameter of 9.5. In face, is a, it is a sphere or a pole with a diameter of nine and a half centimeter however when the head is deflexed as occipital posterior it is an oval with the transverse diameter is longer than the uh, with one, one diameter is more than another diameter and it is oval or ovoid in the uh, 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 measured deflection of uh, the, uh, the head we mentioned in definition uh, that the engagement is a passage of the wider transverse diameter of the presenting part through the plane of the pelvic inlet. The plane of the pelvic inlet is that plane passing through the following points from posterior forward sacral promontory this sacral promontory orange shaped the sacroiliac joint lined in green iliobacterial line iliobacterial eminence upper border of the pubic ramus pubic crest and the upper border of the symphysis tube is to the other side. This is the plane of the pelvic inlet. How engagement is diagnosed? Diagnosis engagement of the fetal presenting part can be diagnosed either with abdominal or vaginal method. Abdominally, a method called Christian method the head as a presenting part is assumed to be divided into five equal parts when three fifths or more like this and this are felt abdominally it is not engaged on the other hand when the less than two fifths of the head are felt abdominally it is engaging this method is not feasible in obese women or those with rigid abdominal wall as shown in this 
diagram. This is floating head above the brim. This is floating, non engaged head, just engaged with two fifths, engaged with one fifth filled abdominally, deeply engaged with none of the head is engaged abdominally. The other method for, for diagnosis of engagement is the vaginal method known as delay method. By vaginal examination, when the lowermost pony part of the head is filled below the ischial spine, engagement is occurring. Delay divided the distance below and above the ischial spine into stations, assuming that the level of the ischial spine as station zero, like this. Evaluation of, evaluation of fetal head engagement by vaginal examination, ischial spine is a station zero. One positive or plus one, two or three up, uh, below and minus one, two or three above the ischial spine. Here we come to the end of our lecture and so we can answer the following question what are the causes of non-engagement of the fetal head in the last three weeks of pregnancy in primary gravid as we mentioned because engagement depends on three interacting powers these causes of non-engagement may be false in the passages, contracted pelvis, soft tissue obstruction, malpresentation, large size fetus, Lacks abdominal muscle tones. Again, thank you very much.